Yeah, if you talk to families that lived in this area that burns behind me, they don't say we're from Superior. They say we're from Old Town Superior. This is an area that has families that have lived here for generations. They've celebrated milestones together. They've raised their kids here. They've raised their grandkids here alongside their loved ones. Five buildings, but four families. It's going to be where the white car is, the first white car, all the way through the second white car. That's just amazing. It's all gone. All gone. Ted Chavez grew up here, then raised his kids here. Five generations. This is our fifth generation right here. These two are our fifth generation. We want, we want to leave it to them. Yes, we do. This land has been in their family for 80 years in Old Town Superior. To come here and see this is just devastating. They've seen Old Town welcome the new. This is new and old. New, old and new. Like his friend, Adam. That's my neighbor. He lives right across the street from me. His house is still standing. The old memories they share with new friends. We used to party in high school back there. Shh, you're yeah. on video. <laughs> no one knows this town better than the originals. McClare's, Sharps, Bettner's. Through the years, they've chosen to stay. We were all family, and we still are. So many of the original families will make that same choice again. It's funny I was thinking about moving, but now I'm not. <laughs> it takes a tragedy to happen to make my mind up. Any other option wouldn't feel right. This is our life. There's nothing. This is all we, we know, right, actually. I know the kids want to say, well, do you want to move out? No, I'm not moving out. Maybe when I'm... With the good Lord calls for me, they can take me out. <laughs> but right now I'm staying. Just like their past generations. My grandfather built two houses. Yeah. Now I get to do four. <laughs> <laughs> me and my brother, yeah. the family, we're going to build it. Yeah. This is going to be nice. It's going to be. It's going to be a lot of work ahead for that family, but just to prove what a community it is behind me in this part of town, uh, Ted has asked me to say that he hasn't heard from some of the families. So if you are Charlie, Gina, or Gladys, he's been trying to get in touch with you. If you're watching, please contact him. He wants to have that peace of mind that you're okay. He also wants to know that if you need anything, he can bring that to you. So that's just to prove what a community this is. This family also has a GoFundMe set up. So if you feel compelled to give, we will have a link at our website to do so. Yeah, Kim? when they all know each other by first name that way. And when you refer to Old Town Superior, Angeline, I'm sure they could just go on and on about how that area has changed because it really was just this big open space, you know, a couple decades ago. Yeah, and it was so awesome to hear some of their old family memories. Ted talked about playing around here in the old coal mine. He talked about these little areas that he knows where he and his friends used to hang out, thinking, oh, that's where the kids hang out now. And so, yeah, they know this town better, better than anyone. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate their positive attitude, and we wish them the best of luck in the future. Thank you.